Well, it's Tuesday, mm -hmm. and we've got something really fun here. Oh, yes. Um, somebody something. that we ran into on the Internet, John Thacker. Oh. And he's making Model Ts. Oh, how fun. In O scale. Really? And he said he was going to send us some. Hmm. And they just arrived. Oh, so neat. here they are. Oh, cool. So let's see just exactly what he has sent us. Pacific Northwest Miniatures, John Thacker. Oh, nice. So I'm assuming that if you... Can search for that, and, and we'll put a link in the in the description so you can find it. And then what I'd like to do is follow up on this and, and actually build these little suckers. Right. Wouldn't that be fun? Because oh, they be look nice. like they're gonna. Well, first of all, a Model T. Right. <laughs> it's one of my favorite cars of all time. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure if we could time travel back to, you know, 1912 or something, and say to people, you know, the Model T is one of, they'd say, are you nuts? <laughs> That's the biggest piece of junk. Of <laughs> they were never intended to be anything special. They were intended to be a way to get around for cheap. Right. 350 bucks and you're driving down the road. Anyway, I just think they're really the neatest cars. Oh, that's cool. So these, these look really nice. A mini kit. A mini kit. Well, they're O-scale and that uh -huh. doesn't mean that they're not really detailed. Right. Um, there we are. So uh, what he's done, this says body kit only, and this one says body kit only, and then this is the main frame of the car. Oh, really? T-Series starter set, 148 scale. So if you want to build the entire car, I guess you're going to need... Scissors. Scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, which is not that different than the actual Model T. The Model T, in an effort to be the every the every person's car, um, there was just a frame car. Something uh, struck you as funny. <laughs> I thought you were going to say cut it out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that's your line. <laughs> That is really neat. Wow, that's put together neat as a pin in there. Wow. Oh my. So it's all 3D printed. You can tell from oh the little my goodness. trees and the way it all goes. Goodness, oh wow. There's two steering wheels there. I see four. Mm. Or am I looking? At... Oh, you're right. There's four, There's steering, four steering wheels. wheels. There's there a go. whole bunch of... So I'm not sure what's going on here. We'll have to do a little more research. This is... Um, those would appear to be truck wheels. Uh -huh. the, the the basic Model T, they came out in 1909. Uh -huh. And um, it was just a basic frame. And then they had a coupe, a roadster, a touring, and um, a sedan. Right. And almost nobody bought the sedan because it was more money. The, uh -huh. the roadster was $350. And the touring car was very popular because it had a rear seat. I see. And then uh, the Roadster was available as a pickup truck, which is what I had. Oh, really? It was a, a 27T uh, pickup truck, Roadster. <laughs> but it was the basic car, and you could just take the truck bed off and put the trunk on, take the trunk off, put the truck, you know, it's like four bolts. <laughs> Interchangeable parts. And that's just how they were designed. And then they also offered a truck frame. Ah, the TT truck frame, and I'm just wondering if, if, because uh, these look like TT parts. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at the, look at the engine. Oh, that's awesome. Classic Model T engine. Yes. And, uh, the same engine in all of these cars, and they made the car from 1909 to 1927. Hmm. And things didn't change that much. I mean, mm -hmm. they did, mm -hmm. but uh, through that whole time period, um, there weren't a lot of great big huge changes, especially to the engine, but we'll open this up and get See some better shots. But uh, right. there's the engine. Oh, there's that's awesome. uh, two, count them, two front ends there. Mm -hmm. But there's only one engine. Is that a front end or your suspension? Well, there's that too. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. well, there you go. There's suspension and the front we'll end. We'll unpack this and see exactly right. what's there. And I'm dying to build, as I say, um, 
the steering rod and the T-Series chassis. Hmm. Wow. Well, that's pretty awesome. That's really neat. That's really neat. And then these would be the different car bodies. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and a man oh, to drive man. it. Yeah, it comes with a figure. Wow. And there's your body parts. So this would be for doing a truck. This is the truck frame, the, pr the truck. The bed. Bed. <laughs> and it's got the, the fenders attached. But check this out. It's a seat it's cab. It's a seat cab. Look at that. So he's definitely included the parts here to make a TT. Uh-huh. Because this was the, the, the cab that came with the TT truck. And the TT truck, it was it was very much the same truck, the same car as the T, mm -hmm. but the TT had a heavy rear end, and it was an actual hmm. uh, truck, like a one-ton truck. Huh. Hmm. Well, that's awesome. Look at but, that. Uh, but everything else was just Model T, and there's the, the front fenders. Well, that is awesome. Isn't that just neat? And the, the detail and everything is it's amazing. stunning. Right. Wow. I want to build. And then let's, uh, we'll cut it up again. Yes, cut it up. <laughs> you cut up, you. Oh, my heck. It's a, it's a coop. Oh, look at that. That's one of the neat things about 3D printing is it can have interior details mm -hmm. and all kinds of things. Well, this little box here is pretty detailed because inside here's some stuff that would uh, be if your phonograph and a pig and a chair. Oh, my. So is that, that must I'm be I'm not the, sure what that is. Maybe it's a moving van. Yes. <laughs> Well, a farm truck because yeah, it has a pig, but it also has a, a stereo. I mean, not a stereo, but a phonograph. Wow, just all kinds. Oh my heck! Huh? Look, Look at, at the that. Glass. Even glass. How about that? Wow, that's awesome. Now that most certainly isn't 3D printed. Huh? That's uh, some kind of etching. Some kind of etching that's that he's mm -hmm. done there. Oh, well, that's just fun. And that looks like a heavy duty radiator for the TT truck. Uh huh. And, and there's the body. There's the, the body. Oh, that's just fun. Well, this is going to be a oh, fun build. Fun. So yeah. I'm not sure if there's enough parts here to build two. There's two different bodies. Uh, one of which is a truck body, mm -hmm. and then there's all these different parts here. Mm -hmm. But just the fact that there's a whole oh, that's really cool collection of steering wheels. Right. They did offer two steering wheels for the uh -huh. car. Okay. They called the one the Fat Man. Hmm. Because that normally they just were kind of a spider that went out, and then one of them the spider arms were bent, which pushed the steering wheel out away from you. So if you had a little girth to you, oh, your belly wouldn't hang up on the steering. I hate it when that happens. So you could you could order the car with the fat man steering wheel, but oh that meant actually going to the dealer and saying, "I need the fat man steering." Wheel. That's as embarrassing as getting on an airplane and saying you need the seatbelt extender. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Just you know. Yeah. And then the uh, the stewardess will yell out, "No, can we get a seatbelt extender over here for the?" Yeah. 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 Hi. <laughs> Thanks. Make me Thanks feel like yeah. hell. Yeah. I'll uh, crawl mm -hmm. under the seat now. Store your ego under the seat. Yeah. Not in the uh, yeah. overhead because the cargo <laughs> shifts. Anyway, this is going to be a really fun build. I'm just completely blown away by this little guy. This is really neat. This is really be fun to put together. And then we'll we'll catch up with it in another show as mm -hmm. we get it uh, as yeah. we get it built. There That'll it really is. Fun. <laughs> Sweet it's Pacific Northwest Miniatures O scale Model T stuff. That's neat. Really neat. That is really cool. Fun. <laughs> well, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop over to the channel, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And the easy way to uh, to get there and do both is the blue button. Uh -huh. Are we ready? <laughs> Zoink! Right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you on Sunday. Sunday. Because we're riding trains. Yes, we're going to be away. We're going to be away riding trains. We'll see you see then. Ya. Bye. Bye-bye.